here's some hand reflexology to help with um, immunity overall. But what's really nice is we also can address some symptoms that you might be having, especially this time of year as we're in the fall, we're moving from summer into winter. Uh, there may be um, allergies, um, uh, common colds, uh, what have you. Um, so we can help with sinus drainage, uh, maybe the ears are affected, let's do that, uh, and like this. Uh, I'm finding that hand reflexology is quite potent and I'll be using a combination of traditional Chinese medicine and, uh, for lack of a better term, Western style reflexology. So you want to start kind of with a nice, just gentle warm up, both hands. Um, and kind of sandwich front and back. Come down your forearm a little bit. You can start on the palm and the back of the hand and just lightly stroking both sides. Just kind of bringing energy to the area, kind of uh, as you wash your hands. And some wrist rotations. Okay, and we're going to work one hand at a time. It's the same for both hands. So you're going to start with an acupuncture point called large intestine four. And that is in the web here between the thumb and the forefinger. And if you squeeze, squeeze your thumb to, towards your forefinger, you'll find a mound. And you're going to find the high point of that mound. See the mound right here? Yep. You're going to find the high point of that mound. And that's going to be the point where you press. And you see I switched around to, can you see, I've got my thumb braced in the back. And I'm using my middle finger. And you may kind of explore the area. You may find a point that calls to you for touch um, that maybe feels a little tender. Um, so give this some massage. This is usually a pretty strong muscle, so you can uh, work it a bit. Uh, don't work it to the level that you hurt yourself, because that's not uh, therapeutic. And so that's large intestine four. That's a good point for the head and face. And let's go to uh, points for ears. So one of the places you can find ear reflexology points is on the middle finger. And this center um, joint, uh, this isn't the joint, this is the bone. Uh, it's called the phalange. These are the phalanges. This is the medial phalange. And you can just kind of pinch either side the whole length of that bone. I'll do this so you can see a little better. And when you're working with your hands, feel free to leave them in your lap or resting on a table or a pillow. I'm up here for illustration purposes. And you may go to this. Um, uh, this is called the proximal interphalangeal joint. So this, this one right here, the, the first joint after the base of your finger, still this middle finger. And you can work that joint as a whole. Now, there are some who say that also, and I'm, I'm working my way around. I'm doing front and back as well as the sides. You can also do this on the fourth finger. Now, there's, I'm showing you several areas where there are ear reflex areas on the hand because it's not a perfect science. And I invite you, as you explore these areas, find the ones that seem to work for you. You may feel a tenderness. You may start to feel a release. Uh, the fifth finger 
check around at this place where the finger joins the hand on the palmar side and you can see I'm working my thumb I've braced it from behind to give support and I'm just working my way along that jo joint so I'm working across like that and you can do do the same thing on the fourth and fifth fingers in this area um, if you uh, if your thumbs feeling a little put upon oh, I can't quite get there so switch your thumb to be the brace the support in the back and use your forefinger or your middle finger to work those joints and you know work you can work work those fingers all together so you know this you can work this um, proximal interphalangeal joint on the fourth and fifth you can work around the base you can work the sides all around you can work the middle finger see what works for you um, another thing about the middle finger is you can work down to the base of the middle finger here on the palm and it kind of explore this area around the joint uh, this is kind of around the throat area so by working your way down there you kind of I think are covering that eustachian tube tract that runs from your ears into your throat so that's a good uh, drainage area so yeah so that's ears so we did large intestine 4 we kind of worked on ears uh, the throat the base of the middle finger um, and the chest so we're kind of working our way down so this throat we're kind of on the chest area the second third fourth and fifth these uh, joints at the base of the hand some people say this is related to the chest this kind of across this area um, I uh, am in agreement with that because across here right across this pad is the ball the ball of the hand if you will is the area for the lung so we're just kind of on top of that and working your way across however feels comfortable for you you can you can even do that in there um, so both hands we're going to jump back up so we did kind of ears throat into chest we're going to jump back up into sinuses and these I find spectacular if you're feeling congested so the tips of the fingers just squeezing them and all of them you can spend a little time here and again if your thumbs feeling put upon I use my first two uh, my second and third finger and I just squeeze in let's see if I can get a better picture squeeze in this way You know, up, down, work the way that feels comfortable for you. Um, you may feel kind of an instant relief with that. Uh, we want to move on to the lymph system. And we're going to use the back side of the hand. Let's use this one. And we're going to work this area between the fingers. And we're going to just glide 
down. So I'm using this kind of setup with my hand. The thumb is on the back side to give support. And I start where the fingers meet. And I come over that joint and I slide down between the bones. And there's a natural stopping point right here when you run into the wrist bones. And you just want to slide this. This is um, lymph drainage. And you're going to do this between all your fingers. So I'm moving on to between the middle two here. And a little bit of pressure. Uh, I'm just noticing if I've got tension in my hand, uh, some of the tendons in the back are are uh, in use and they can interrupt your flow. So the hand that's receiving should be relaxed and then you can just glide right down that trough between the bones. So I'm working here and then over here you can do a long side of the forefinger and a long side the long bone of the thumb. So again, both sides. Uh, sometimes if I'm feeling uh, ambitious, I use three fingers to rake down there. So that's going to help the lymph drainage, especially in the upper body. Um, lymph nodes. Again, we're still in the same neighborhood, taking a pinch right at the web between fingers, right where everything joins the hand. Pinching. Give this a nice firm pinch. And I like to work my way across this wide web here at the thumb. Now you may find some tenderness here. If you do, um, my suggestion is be gentle with it. Uh, don't be, don't be a sissy with it, but you don't have to power through. Uh, see if you can give it a little nice massage at a level that is uh, t tolerable and get that to open up. Okay, so that's the nodes. Uh, we're moving on to the thymus. So the thymus is a, a gland that's involved in immunity. It's behind the breastbone. So there's a couple things you can do. You can actually just tap this area to kind of send a little energy in to the thymus. On your hand, you're going to come to the thumb and where the base of the thumb is, where it meets the hand, you're going to uh, kind of work that area. I like to go all around this joint. And you're also going to work the sides of this proximal phalange. So this finger bone. You can even slide up and down. Okay. All right, so that's a lot of upper body stuff that does involve the immune system. Uh, we're going to go down to the heel of the hand for uh, intestines and other means of um, helping the body to discharge of what, what it no longer needs. So... Um, before we do that, we're going to do over here, kind of at the, uh, just below this kind of ball of the hand, at the little finger, just below this mound. You're going to come in here and massage in here, both sides. Um, the one on the, so right now I'm on my left hand. That is the spleen. Spleen helps to clean the blood and it, it, it's involved in the immune system. On this side, the liver cleans the blood in a different way. Very important. So both of these 
helpful. And I did not tell you about the lungs. So this whole ball, I was talking about the ball with the hand and I totally forgot. The lungs, I like to kind of just do a couple things. You can come in point by point, give it a massage all the way across. And sometimes I like to just sweep back and forth. And if you kind of sweep back and forth just under that uh, ball of the hand, you're um, giving the diaphragm a little massage. You can use your forefinger or your middle finger too. Okay. Alrighty, so let's move a little lower in the body to the intestines. We like that take out the trash component because it's so important. And you can take this. So this is another tool that you have. We've been doing a lot of pinching and, and pressing. Thumb support and just around in this heel of the hand. Just kind of scooping and raking across that area. We're a little less specific here. Uh, remember that intention really plays a part. So don't worry, you're, you're also um, covering ground for other areas of the body and that's not a bad thing. So we're here and then I'm going to suggest, oh, we are large intestine. So I, there's a little right-left thing here. On the right hand, um, for both of them, you're going to circle around this area. And on the right hand, I like to come up from the little finger side and sweep over to the thumb. And you want to make a nice kind of circle. So this is mirroring how the intestine lays out in your gut. And we're just giving it a little um, encouragement. On the left side, you're covering the same ground, except you're going to start by the thumb and work down to the heel and make a nice curve there. It's a lovely thing to do. For some reason, one of my favorites. So, in the right hand, heel to thumb. On the left hand, thumb to heel. And finish up. You can end all this again with this nice uh, mutual massage. Maybe a little wrist movement. And then I'm going to show you the cherry on the Sunday. The middle finger comes down and touches the palm. You f that's just to find the spot. This is your solar plexus. And this is a marvelous point for relaxing, settling, centering yourself. So we, um, I was taught a nice breathing pattern with this. So if you don't want to do the breathing pattern, that's okay. You just come in and you can see what I'm doing. Little circles, little pressure. Find the level that's comfortable. The breathing pattern. On the inhale, come in, press with that little bit of massage. Inhale. Exhale. Release your pressure. Inhale. Press in again. Exhale. Release your pressure. If you make your exhale a little bit prolonged, that helps with the discharge. You can use this by itself anytime you need to kind of settle and 
center.